Uh, like plenty of showers to come this week, even some thunderstorms and possibly some heavy persistent rain on Wednesday. But starting off looking at the bigger picture as we go through Monday night into Tuesday, and there are some low pressure systems nearby, none of these over the UK, so it's a relatively quiet night and a relatively quiet start to the day on Tuesday, though there will be some showers from quite early on, particularly across central parts of England, and these showers are going to become more widespread as we go through the day. Some of them will be heavy, some of them will be thundery, especially across parts of Northern Ireland and southwest England. Here there's a reasonable chance that we will see some torrential downpours, some frequent lightning. All of this could cause some disruption, particularly on the roads. Even elsewhere, there's the risk of some heavy, possibly thundery showers, but also some bright or sunny spells. And with temperatures around or a little bit above average for the time of year, in any sunshine, it's going to feel pretty warm. Quite widely, we're seeing highs in the mid to high teens Celsius some places getting into the low 20s. Worth noting towards some North Sea coastal parts, a bit of low cloud lingering here and a bit of an onshore breeze, it is going to feel markedly fresher. As we go through Tuesday night into Wednesday, our attention turns to an area of low pressure that is developing across Europe. That's going to push its way westwards towards the UK. There is some uncertainty as to how far west it's going to get, and that plays a part in how much rain we're going to see on Wednesday. But it does look likely that we're going to see some pretty heavy persistent rain, at least across eastern parts as we go through the day. It's not going to be completely dry further west. There'll be plenty of showers around. And again, these could be heavy, possibly thundery times, but a greater chance of seeing some brighter or sunny spells in between the showers than there will be further east. In the west, the winds don't look particularly strong, but in eastern parts, in association with the heavy rain, it could be quite blustery too. Temperatures, well, they look fairly similar to a Tuesday, really, but obviously if you're under the cloud and the rain towards the east, they are going to be a little bit more suppressed and feeling quite a bit more unpleasant. As we go through Wednesday night into Thursday, we are going to see that system gradually making its way towards the north. Still some uncertainty about the track that it's going to take, and that plays a part again in the rain that we're likely to see on Thursday. So worth bearing in mind that it could be a bit wetter on Thursday than the graphics here show, particularly across parts of Scotland could be a bit more rain around, at least to start off with, but it's likely to clear away towards the north as we go through the day. Still some outbreaks of showery rain following in behind, but especially for eastern parts, Thursday does look like it will be drier than on Wednesday. Some bright sunny spells again, but temperatures do look like they'll be a degree or so down compared to Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, in terms of the rainfall totals that we can expect as we go through Wednesday and Thursday, and here are our forecast 48-hour rainfall totals. And they're suggesting that particularly over parts of Scotland, some eastern parts of England, we could see in excess of 50 millimetres. Now, this is from the latest Met Office model run and I mentioned there has been some uncertainty. If we look at previous Met Office model runs, so this is from midnight on Monday morning, this is from midday on uh, Sunday, and this is from midnight on Sunday morning. You can see there's quite a change in where we're likely to see the heaviest rain. If we take the middle model run here and it has a very wet picture across a large chunk of the UK, and if this came off, then some places could see in excess of 100 millimeters. But I don't think that's the most likely outcome at the moment. I think the current model run keeping the heaviest rain towards the east is most likely, but nonetheless, that heavy persistent rain could be impactful for some. That low pressure system lingering in the North Sea, but it, the rain in association with it does clear away towards the north as we go into Friday. So far northern parts of Scotland may start Friday with quite a bit of cloud and some outbreaks of rain. A bit drier and perhaps brighter, or if not sunnier, further south across parts of Scotland, northeast England, Northern Ireland, there could be some decent sunshine. Looks like it will stay a bit cloudier towards more central southern parts of England and Wales, though I would expect some bright spells to develop in a amongst this cloud. And again, we are going to see quite a few showers, these perhaps most frequent uh, across parts of the southwest. And again, there could be some thunder mixed in with these as well. Temperatures once more mid to high teens or possibly low 20 Celsius. As we go into the weekend, and it's likely to quieten down for a little bit. So Friday night into Saturday, relatively quiet, and then a mostly dry start to the day on Saturday. However, there is a front likely to be waiting out in the west. And so after a mostly dry start to the weekend, we're likely to see some rain pushing its way in from the west as we go through Saturday and also into Sunday. But with that, 
we are also likely to see our temperatures rising, so it should start to feel a bit warmer than it will have done through much of the week. We will, of course, keep you up to date with the forecast. We do have a number of warnings and they are likely to change through the next few days, so do stay up to date by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.